Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Fleming from the Australasian College of Cosmetic Surgery. I'm here to give you an update about a condition called anaplastic large cell lymphoma or ALCL. This is a type of lymphatic cancer which we now know is associated with certain types of breast implants. The risk is still small. It's less than one in a thousand patients. What that means is that in at least 999 patients out of a thousand with breast implants, they will never have ALCL. But it exists and you need to know about it. ALCL has a range of severity from being quite mild where it's self-limiting and is 100% cured by removal of the implants through to a more invasive cancer that requires chemotherapy and radiotherapy. There have been some very rare cases of women who have died from this condition. ALCL presents with a sudden swelling of the breast caused by a collection of fluid. It's important to remember that most women who get a fluid collection around the breast will not have ALCL. But if it happens to you, you should see your doctor, have an ultrasound scan and some of that fluid analysed to ensure that you do not have ALCL. It's important to keep this in perspective. The vast, vast majority of women with breast implants will never get ALCL. It's helpful as well to compare the risk of ALCL, less than one in a thousand, with the risks of other kinds of cancer. Any Australian women, including women without breast implants, has a risk of developing breast cancer in their lifetime of about one in eight. An Australian has a lifetime risk of developing a lymphatic cancer of one kind or another of about 1 in 50. And the risk of ALCL is less than 1 in 1,000. And that's for all types of ALCL, including the most mild type. Nevertheless, it's important that you know about this. If you were to develop a sudden swelling of the breast, you should see your doctor and have that fluid tested. Remember, ALCL is not breast cancer. It's a type of lymphatic cancer. You can get more information about this from the TGA's website, that's the government regulator, and from the college's website at accs.org.au. We'll keep updates on there if there's any new information that comes to hand. And of course, if you've got specific concerns, you should go and see your GP or the surgeon who performed your breast implant.